I was the first one to walk into my father's hospital room after he was declared dead. And I will never forget the image of seeing him on a black bag. A very strange moment, bizarre and devastating. Somehow reality didn't make sense. So you sip it up and that's it? I was born into a family of doctors and scientists, and early in my life, my parents realized that I understood the world through my eye senses. I was a normal children. I was one second hyper-contemplative, and the next one running around, screaming, climbing about everything I could do. I still do that. And being, when I was growing up, I studied art, painting, photography, and whatnot, until I reached that time in life where I needed to decide what to do next. My first choice was to become a painter, but that wasn't allowed in my family, not as a profession. So becoming a photographer was a beautiful accident in my life. The days before my father died, I would walk into his room and stare into his eyes. He had a grayish halo around the iris, and I would tell myself, don't ever forget his eyes. When the doctors came to tell us that he had 98% chances of dying, I clung to the 2% chances of him not. After he died, I needed to understand dead. I needed to understand all those feelings. I needed to go deeper. And for me, was, there was only one way of doing this. It was a very crazy feeling, but I did not question it for a minute. I needed to see his sashes under a microscope. I contacted scientists from a prestigious university and asked them to grant me access to the lab. And of course they refused. Neither was I a scientist nor a student there. They were kind and they told me that human ashes had been researched and analyzed under microscopes for a long time, and that the resulting images were images of black, white, and gray. One of them told me that if I did not believe what the outdated research uh, reflected, I could take a microscopic look for myself. Another magical accident in my life. As I was looking through the microscope, my grief gently faded, like a cloud in the sky. All my perceptions of reality, of life and dead, were instantly crushed. It was like floating in space, but at the same time, being that expansive space. I discovered multicolored nebula that resembled the images taken by the Hubble. I understood the physicality of space. And there, in that space, in the space between our atoms, that's where we collide. We're here, there, abiding in space, connected through space, reconnecting atomically throughout life, infinitely. This image is the image of my father's ashes. Shortly after, I was doing a residency at a renowned center for the arts, and they did a documentary about my project, and it went viral. People over, all over the world started contacting me. And I had a question. Do all ashes look like my father's? And all these people that contacted me sent me samples, some of them. And yes, all ashes look like nebula. All the fear disappeared. I felt no separation from anything. Our atoms have been part of me and you and everything in this universe. And so what we fear about death is the unknown. And depending on our religion, there are certain beliefs of what happens after. But the ugly truth is that we still don't know. But here, we add one important data point to that unknown. And with this data point, we ignite every individual's imagination. It will always be different, 
but it will always be something immensely beautiful for each one. These images travel the world in galleries, but I still felt unsettled about the look in my, my, my grandmother's eyes the day my father died. Seeing a parent losing a child is the most horrific thing I've witnessed. And I promised myself I would do anything I could to stop that fear, that look of constant fear. So I needed to take this out of the galleries and find a way to democratize this be beautiful visual experience. So I turned my project into everyone's project so that now everyone can join and create. Still, something else needed to happen. So I'm creating a company for the enhancement of human experience that will provide these images for people who want to memorialize those gone in this way. And with this project, I want to trigger critical questioning in hopes for a better society. We have to improve our relationships with other fellow humans, animals, but not only that, with every cell and atom. Because all our atoms were created at the same time in the interior of collapsing stars. We're 7.6 billion-ish, something like that, human beings on this planet. Bodies that are going to die one day. But for now, we can look at death from a different and refreshing perspective. More so, we can look at life from a refreshing perspective. Thank you.